guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee flag called Maria's Shrimp. Now, the hook in the vase is a size 12, this is a Partridge Patriot double, black nickel, size 12. I'm going to tie wee small ones. And then, the uni thread we're going to use is the uni thread 80 in fire orange. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. And remove the waist tag. The tag in the rib of the fly is going to be a gold oval silver tinsel. Now this is the, the vineyard stuff that I'm using here. This is a size 14 so I'm just going to catch that in and sort of way run this down until you're in lane or slightly past the, the points of the hooks. Then you can come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel. On the last turn I'm just going to offer this up underneath the shank of the hook that just locks in your tag then just take your tan thread forward just sort of by the length of the body just got to leave yourself plenty of room up here guys you've got a wing haggle and jungle cock if you choose to put it on just going to fold the oval gold tinsel bag just work the thread back down tied up against the oval gold the tail traditionally on the pattern is a uh, bucktail dyed claret we're going to use grey squirrel tail dyed a nice claret so I'm just going to come in here and get a not a nice pinch enough for a tail trim that away just take away any of the rubbish from the bottom I'm not going to stack it I'm just going to take it the way it is it's got a nice wee tape on it. I want this sort of way about a length and a half of the hook over the back. Tighten down on that. Come in and lift the excess. Take that away in a bit of a tapered cut. We'll put some flesh into the wing. I'm just going to use uh, two strands of pearl crystal flesh. You use whatever flash you have and change it up. You don't always have to tie it to the same pattern. I'm just going to fold back the the flash, take a couple of turns over the top. Come on and trim that. I'm going to keep that for the wing. I'm just going to have a wee check at the flash. I'm happy enough with the length of that. Now at this point, because it's squirrel, I'm just going to put on a wee dab of super glue. Just onto the hair, and then I'm going to run my thread up, tying this in. Now the body's dubbed, so you don't have to worry about lumps and bumps. Just want to make sure that that squirrel doesn't pull out. It just helps the fly last a wee bit longer too. I do you use super glue in certain applications? I'm not a great lover of it, but I do use it. Now, just take away any excess. The rear body, the rear part of the body, sorry, this is glow bright, or sorry, light bright, cobra glow bright, uh, light bright dubbing in yellow. And we're just going to double wee pinch on at a time here. That's good stuff, this is, comes in a wide range of colours as well. The light bright, good dubbing to have in your fly time kit. And you can mix this with other dubbings as well. Now don't worry if you see any of the fire orange thread shown through. Because you want to see that. It's part of the fly. The next part, this is genuine seals fur. Dyed a light clard. Now this is out of the genuine seals fur dispenser box. Um, it's got a wee bit of fluff on my finger. Uh, number 2. So you can get that from Vanyards. And you can buy the wee dispenser box, which is always handy to have. So I'm just going to dub that on. Slide this up. And we'll just run up our seals for anything that wants to go forward, just sweep it back. Just get the bit of thread at the front here. Then I'm going to come up with three turns. Just going to take three turns of the oval gold tinsel. I'm going to say he's 12. I think that's more than enough to 
protect the body. Nice tight turns to catch in the oval gold. Come in, trim away the excess. Now I'm just going to come in at this point and put out, or just bring out some of the dubbing. So it's just a wee bit of Velcro on an old lollipop stick. I just want to bring some of that out into the wee fly. No point in putting uh, dubbing on at times if you're not going to brush it out. Just give it a good brush. If you've tied it in properly, it'll be grand. The wing, got on the stagger here, it's just grey squirrel tail dyed orange. That's it there. Now you can have this as long or short as you like. I'm going to just want my tail. I want the tips coming past the, the bends of the hooks. I'm just going to come in here and measure it. What I do is, is just trim that, offer it back up to the hook, and then come around with a pinching loop. And then another, and then a couple of turns to, to tighten up. Now, don't worry if it's sitting too high, just a couple of these wee fibers here. Just keep in your thread tight. Just going to come in with a wee like a super glue or varnish, whatever you like to use. And then I'm going to bring this down over the cut ends of the squirrel and back up. Going to add some flash into the wing, just back to our crystal flash. You don't have to use the crystal flash, uh, like I said at the start, and you don't have to put flash in the wing in this pattern. Just putting a wee bit of bling back in, so there we go. Trim that away. Now I want to trim this the same length as the wing. The haggle at the front is going to be a badger haggle. Uh, dyed a nice claret. And we're not loving anything too too big or extravagant here. You can use straight through claret if you wish. That's what was used on the original pattern. Just come in and break away the tip. But I do like the the badger hackles dyed claret. Stroke your scissors up the stem of the haggle and then you're just looking one turn in front of the other now, I'm probably going to put on three turns here I'm going to put another one on and that's going to be plenty there for me keeping the whole of the stem of the haggle follow this around with your thread A couple of tight turns, come in and trim away the, the remainder of the hackle. I just fold everything back at this point, and we'll just get a bit of thread down here at the front because we're going to put on jungle cock. Now, you don't have to put on jungle cock, you can just leave that wee fly the way it is, and that'll work. Got all the right color combinations in it. Should be really no reason why it shouldn't. We're going to come in and put on a couple of jungle cock eyes. So just bear with me here. Do you get these bad boys off? There's two there. I'm sorry, I have my voices. A wee bit off today, guys. My throat's a wee bit sore. So where's the the jungle cock guys there? Um, I'm not feeling the best over the last couple of days, but I think it's just an old cold. Now I'm just going to offer the the jungle cock eyes up to the the hook, and then just come round. Now, these are just loose turns. That's just the weight of the bobbin. That's holding these, and then you just want to come in and check. I'll pull that one up. I'm happy with the length. So I'm going to hold the eyes. Really tighten up onto the thread. Come in. Fold everything back. And then build up our head. I don't be shy with the, 
with the head, that's why you're using the fire orange thread. Put me small heads and flies, don't get me wrong, they're grand on certain applications, but when you're using this type of thread, don't be scared to put on a nice head. Now just break away those stems, bring the fly back into focus for you. Get my whip finishing tool and we'll throw in a whip finish. Put the thread nice and tight, come in, trim away the tan thread. That's the wee fly done. Now we'll just come in here, just the first coat on the head, the super glue. Need to trim this brush down another wee bit, just a wee bit too bulky. Don't want this going into your haggle, so just take your time. Right the whole way right round. Once that dries guys, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish. Just to seal up the head. And it'll give it a nice bright sheen. But there you go guys, that's just a slight variant on the Maria Shrimp. All I've did is change the tail out to the back to a more mobile fibre like a grey squirrel tail. Dyed, clear it. And instead of using straight through um, clear it, cock hackle, I've just used the claret bodger. So look guys, tie a few of those up. Good jobs for the for the back end. God spurs us for 2022. Um, hopefully they can catch a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out and it helps it grow. And until next time folks, please stay safe and take lanes.